Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Digital Classroom. Today it's about shooting tethered to an iPad. And what do I use for that? And why do I use it? Now, when you see my videos, you often see me shooting tethered. So what is shooting tethered? Tethered actually means that you connect your camera to another device to show the images. That can be, of course, your smartphone. It can be an, an iPad or a laptop or a desktop. It doesn't really matter. Now, you can do it wirelessly, and I'm not a big fan of that because, well, you can't shoot raw files over the air. It just goes too slow. And you can use the cable. Now, one of the things that I love to do is move around in our studio, and that means that I need a longer cable. Now, my camera, of course, supports USB-C, and my iPad and laptop also supports USB-C. And this is why we actually chose for IQ Wire. Now, IQ Wire is a brand that is specialized on tethering. So, what does it do extra? Well, first of all, it delivers cables in 5 and 10 meters without any extensions. And in all the cables, even the 5 meters, you will find so-called boosters and IQ Connect. And that means that you have the fastest possible transfer between your computer and the camera. And it's rock solid. So working with tethering also brings you some problems. Like for example, when you use an iPad, what kind of software do you use? Well, let me explain that right away. On the iPad Pro, I'm using Cascable. It's an app you can find in the App Store. Just make sure that you check that your camera supports wired tethering, because they do make a distinction between wireless and wired. It's not a cheap app, but it's worth every cent. It's very, very fast. And well, you can just click and you can see all the images coming in large. And you can connect it to an external display and show the images there without any junk around it. So great solution. And as you can see here, I just connected the IQ wire to the iPad Pro. But there's more. You also have to make sure that you don't yank your cable out of your port because, well, let's be honest, you don't want to damage your port. So that's why on the bottom of my camera, I'm using our own cable block. Now, the cable block is ARCA compatible and it has this little holder here. So you can easily just take it off and put it on again. And of course, it's fiery red. Now, of course, on location, it's also important that you know, the iPad doesn't drop on the floor, right? Because you want to keep your iPad pristine and new. And this is actually why I'm using the Olanzi holder. Now, one of the things that I'm looking for in a holder is one, it doesn't damage my iPad. And this one is very nice. It has a soft material. But I also need something that really holds it tight. Now, with most of those holders, you can get your iPad in there, but it's not 100% tight. With the Olanzi, well, I really trust it to be very, very tight. It won't fall on the floor. And underneath, I have a little ball head, so I can literally just aim it down and up. So great solution. And the Olanzi is very, very affordable. So I think it retails in the Netherlands for about 50 or 60 euros. Actually, and a week now behind the camera sets, it's only 40 euros. So that's a no-brainer. It's made out of aluminium or metal, and it just looks very, very sturdy. And well, it's red, so that also helps. So when I'm shooting on location, I'm always using the IQ Wire 10 meters or 5 meter cables and cast cable on the iPad Pro. I hope that actually answered your questions about, Frank, how do you shoot tether to the iPad? Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And of course, like and subscribe to our channel and make us grow. <laughs> See you again next time. Bye, guys.